Hi guys, if you want to see how I made this two skirt and laced off my client, do not go anywhere. Just sit down. I'll um, show you step by step on what I did. Guys, this this is not beginner friendly, but if you try, of course, you can get it done. The tail, the back is 70 inches. I love it. Still to the end, so you see how it looks on my client. Let's get started. Hi everybody, so um, I'm going to show you how I made that... Um dress i don't want the video to be too long so this is what i did yeah you saw the video i laid my fabric into two and this is the edge here and of course um you know to get your circle skirt is your waist divided by 6.28 so that's what i did you know but i i use i have an already made pattern that gives me the fullness that i want you know but it's just sometimes i draft you know so Let's say your, your waist is 28, you divide it by 6.28, whatever you get, you're going to mark it round, 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 round at the edge. And of course, you now get the length you want. So if the length is 48 or 30 or whatever, you would get the same thing round, right? Okay, so we're going to do this. So just to get the circles, the half circle, because I'm going to cut this in two, you're going to see. Cutting out the waist part. And then you're going to fold the fabric again and then you're going to cut the second one. I made it, I made it a little bit bigger, right? For the waist. Just like half an inch because the lining I used was, um, what's it called? A stretch fabric yeah so I placed it on on top again to get the back part so I have two half circles so what I did was join them on at the sides here no zipper allowance so I'm gonna use my tape to tape it down and this way again so when you sew it down this is what you're going to have this is like illustration purpose it doesn't really look circle but i just wanted to show you so now this is the front and this is the back when you fold it right this is the front and this is the back is your full waist and the length you want now you're going to get your tool Guys, I used 108. 1, 1, 1, 1, 108. And this is not wide enough, but it's just for illustration purpose. Yeah? So, I'm going to fold it this way. You're supposed to fold it in half. This way. This way. Fold it in half. This is the, the folded edge. This part. Now, you're going to place your fabric like this. I don't know if you understand what I mean. You fold it in half. You fold it in half. Right? Because it's 108. So when, when, I, folded it, when, I, when I folded it in half, all I did was just to get the waist here and then the length. So what you're going to do is, of course, get your length for the front. Whatever you want. The front was 48 and the, the back was 70 inches. So you're going to layer it. I used, um, what's it called? I used nine layers. Oh, you guys, we didn't see it. Because this, the tool I have isn't long enough. So this is what I did in half. This is what I did in half. This is what I did in half. And then I placed my tool. Do you understand what I mean? So if you notice, these this both sides unfold. The two sides unfold, right? Yeah. So what I did was I got... My length, this is paper. When you see the video, you understand. I got my length and then I carved it and got what I wanted for the length. So, this is what I did. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I got the length and then I was, I was cutting. I extended it to the length that I wanted. What I 70, 100 inches, whatever. And then, of course, make sure you pin always pin 
Make sure you pin. And then I cut out the waist part this way. Because it's tool, I didn't want to begin to sew, to create zipper and all that. No, I didn't want that. So when you take out this pin, take out, of course, you have your lining. This is how it's going to look. Do you see? The front is shorter and then the back has a tail. So at the end of the day, you have everything all sewn together. You're not going to start basting or anything. Everything sewn together. I hope you can see it. This is how it's going to look with your lining underneath. So all you got to do is to pick it up with your lining this way and sew it. Sew it round the waist and then measure down um, your zipper allowance. Yeah? Seven inches and all that and attach your zipper and your waistband. That's it. So it's easier to just have one seam cut out than have, do you understand? I'll have like the front and the back and try to join the two together. I hope you guys understand what I mean. If you don't, if you have any other questions, please feel free to ask me in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Remember, like I always say, what God cannot do does not exist. Hey guys, so this is me just um, laying down the lining. I use the stretch lining and then the pattern that I have at home. Um, when I'm in a hurry, I usually just use a pattern that I have. But you can just use the same way I explained it to cut a full circle skirt. And this is me cutting the back part of the skirt. I just laid the front on top and I cut the back. Guys, like, subscribe, turn on the notification button. So when next I upload, you'll get notified. So this is me um, cutting. I cut the little girl's dress as well. I'm just sewing the two sides together. I know, yeah. And putting the sides together for the mom skirt and for the daughter's skirt as well. Yeah, I didn't want to open up any zipper yet until I was done. So this is me laying down the skirt that I cut and then, of course, the two. Just the way I explained it in, in half, extended the length. So this is just me laying out different, different layers i used nine layers for this skirt and then cuts and i got the tail this is me cutting out the little girl's own it was a bit technical i have no idea why but it's just the same thing i laid this first one i didn't like the way it was and i laid it a different way and i cut it yeah so this is me just trying to recut cut different layers for her i think i used like 10 layers yeah 10. So this is just me like, you know, laying it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> yeah, and then I put the lining on top, pinned it, got my front. The front was 20 inches and the back was 25 inches. Yeah. So this is me just cutting the top part of the lace. I created like a basic pattern on a fabric I used. I didn't use no pattern, just, you know, freehand. But I have a video on how to draft a basic pattern. So I cut for the mom and for the daughter. Yeah. And I cut the sleeve as well. And I sewed it together. And this is how it looks. This is the final outcome of the skirt and top. Guys, when I was on the floor cutting the skirt. Coezio, it's not, it wasn't easy. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, this is so beautiful. Yeah, this is the back of the skirt. 70 inches. You can make it 180, whatever your client wants. Yeah, for the mommy and for the daughter. And then the lace. I use a stretch lace to make the top. And this is my client when I took, them, took it to the house for feeding. Fit perfectly, no alterations, anything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video.